Hey guys, it's currently December of 2013. I just brought home this brand new 2012 model Yamaha FCS. It's in the electric green. Uh, we had the dealer convert this over. This was actually the yellow color. Uh, 2012 is only uh, your model they made the green. Uh, they didn't have any more left in Texas and this was the last 2012 left in Texas. It was a yellow boat. The dealer covered all labor charges and we just paid a little extra money for the parts to have them converted over to green. What I'm going to show you today is how to replace the inner gunwale. The inner gunwale is this green plastic piece that runs along the outer bumper of the boat. Uh, I believe the electric green color, which is what this boat is, is the only one that came with an actual color-coded inner gunwale. The rest of them are black, to my knowledge. Um, however, I have been told that these can get gummed up. They can, they can get dirty and uh, at some point to keep your wave runner looking sharp you may want to replace it. It's a pretty cheap part. I don't remember how much I paid for it but it, it, it wasn't more than probably twenty dollars and that came with both pieces. Um, this gun wheel is pretty easy to replace. The tools that you're going to need today to do that with are going to be a 10 millimeter wrench and uh, preferably a ratchet wrench if you have one which I don't. A four millimeter um, Allen wrench and then something I like to use is called liquid rollers uh, anything will work really uh, you could try using um, armor all or any other kind of silicone based lubricant uh, and that will help us slide in the newer the new gunner inner gun wheel a lot easier uh, so that way we don't have to work as hard on it we're going to replace this today uh, via the front end of the boat the inner gun wheel Kind of rests in a channel uh, which is built in and, and molded into this outer bumper so inner gun rail will inner gun wheel will actually slide all the way down the length of the boat it's easiest to do this from the front uh, in the front section here you have two bolts coming from this plastic piece pointing in toward the boat and you can access the uh, nuts for those bolts on the back side here um, they will not spin freely. The bolts are actually held in place by this plastic piece so we can just uh, take those nuts off the back uh, without any problems, without having to worry about holding the bolt head. It will already be held. Uh, the other piece we have to remove is this 4 millimeter Allen bolt. Um, and I've already replaced this side. I thought it, I wasn't sure what I was getting into and when I realized some of the secrets um, I thought I'd make this video for you guys. Lastly, uh, once we remove those three items, here around this area here, there's a um, kind of a, a grommet of sorts that holds this whole piece on. Basically, it's snapped into place. We'll just pop that off, which will give us access to the inner gun wheel, which we can pull out uh, at, uh, immediately afterwards. Okay, this is just to show you real quickly the two bolt correction, the two nut heads you're going to have to take off. Uh, here's one, and the other one is right here. So we'll just have to take those two off, and then that Allen bolt. Okay, here we are on the other side. I've already removed this piece, and this is to kind of show you what it'll look like. Um, I'll use this to point out for you. That's where the grommet is I was talking about. This is the back side of the uh, plastic piece and right there that's what actually you're going to have to pop off to pull this off. This side was much easier than the opposite side so I guess it's just dependent on the, the time of manufacture. Here's the inner gun wheel we're going to replace. This is the black one that came with the um, yellow version boat. Um, I'm going to replace it with the green. I'm all about pay attention to details. My wife wanted this color and I'm going to try to make her happy because uh, me getting this boat's going to make me happy. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's actually just kind of resting in the channel. It's already pre-molded and what we can do is just slide this out this way. It's not easy to do. I'd be very careful um, when you get started on this. The plastic piece I removed earlier actually overlaps this uh, by a certain point. So what I would do is just kind of hold that plastic piece back up here. Get an idea of how much overlap you've got. That way you can use a needle nose pliers. And when you use them, you won't go past that overlap. So that way when you start biting into this and marking this up, if you decide that you don't want to continue on at that point, 
you won't have ruined this entire strip. You'll only kind of goof up the very end, which will be covered by that plastic piece, so there, there won't be any problems, and you, you can feel like you can go ahead and turn back at any time. So I'm going to start pulling this out, and I'll give you another picture here in a second of what that's going to look like. Okay, so I've started pulling this out. Unfortunately, we're black on black right now, so it may be kind of hard to see. But this here is the inner gunwale I was talking about earlier. And you can see from the design of it that it kind of fits like a channel into that outer bumper. When you start pulling this out, it'll just start sliding out from behind the rear corner cover. I don't know the actual technical term of it. You probably can't even, even tell where it starts or ends. But basically the end of it is right here. So that'll slide all the way out. And then we can get ready to start sliding our new, new piece. Okay, so I've started sliding in the new inner gun well. You can see how it's uh, sliding in down the side. One thing I forgot to mention earlier, what you could also use is a flathead screwdriver and a paper towel. And so what I did was I took the flathead screwdriver with the paper towel and uh, sprayed some of this uh, liquid rollers on the end of it to kind of soak it and then ran that down the channel on both the top and bottom of this plastic new inner gunwale to lube it up a little bit and that will make sliding in much easier because it's hard enough to slide out dry as it is you can imagine what it's like putting in dry um, so that'll help I'm, I'm just adding it on probably every two or three feet as I go until I get this uh, slid all the way in all right so that's been entered in the whole way it looks good and I think that'll hold up for quite a while. Um, at least now I'll know in the future if I ever bang this up or, or kind of get it grimy or dirty it'll be pretty easy to replace. Okay at this point um, pretty much reinstall everything in reverse order. Uh, you'll have to give a outer plastic piece a little love tap to get that grommet um, correction to get this point reattached. The last thing you'll need to do, I forgot to mention earlier, is you have to add a little bit of Loctite and it's only for this Allen bolt. The Allen bolt's the only one you'll need Loctite for. The others won't need any of it. So a little liquid uh, Loctite will uh, get this back to factory standards for the most part.